Hi there, my name is Lars Nost and I program for Austin Film Society and the AFS Cinema. So this is a film that I liked a lot uh, because I'm a big fan of New Orleans music, New Orleans culture, um, and I think particularly in the jazz and the R&B music, um, we hear the expression of the people of this very special place, uh, New Orleans. It's not just a geographic place that happens to be a port city in Louisiana where the Mississippi River runs into the Gulf of Mexico. It's also a place where uh, chronological time uh, exists in a different way. It moves differently, um, as you'll find out if you ever have a dinner engagement in New Orleans. Um, and then also the rhythmic time, and the sense of rhythmic time is different um, than any other place I can think of in the world. Um, if we listen to the piano professors, maybe we get the clearest sort of indication of that line, of that particular sort of rhythmic line. And Alan Toussaint or Professor Long here, or James Booker, um, we hear rhythms that are instantly distinguishable as nola rhythms. But then we can also hear within that perfect, pure nola rhythm, we can hear all the component parts. We can hear ragtime and European operetta music and Caribbean clave beats and all the polyrhythms that went directly from Congo Square into church music. Four on the floor blues, it's all in there. But it's not mixed up. It doesn't feel like this sort of fusion music. It's organic. It's pure and true to the souls of the people that, that make it. Um, and I'll refrain from using the metaphor of gumbo, but that metaphor has become a cliche because it's true. All of it works. It feels right. It belongs and it's an expression of life. Um, and it's an understanding of life that involves the beauty and the fun of life. And it's all there. And we don't, we don't receive it as some kind of intellectual exercise. We feel it when we hear that New Orleans music. Um, and this film's about that phenomenon. It takes that phenomenon seriously. And we hear from a lot of people who know what they're talking about. And they help us understand this phenomenon and to value it even more um, as a part of America's vivid cultural fabric. Now, is this movie a little dry? Yes, it is. Is it also a film that pays respect to a particular way of life uh, and of creating that is totally unique uh, and that we all value and we should value as much as we value classical music uh, and the so-called higher arts, although I don't know how many arts are higher than this. Um, Though, as one of the interviewers says, um, uh, we can look, uh, we, we can also find valuable um, comparisons with other cities of the world, some of the other great cities of the world, like Havana, which is one which had never occurred to me. But yeah, absolutely. You look at Havana, um, and there's a lot going on that's similar uh, to the way that all of these sort of New Orleans influences come together. But um, but this one's about New Orleans, and that's all um sketched very well. Um, and is it a little cheesy to have like Sting in the movie? Of course it is, yes. But then Sting says some pretty interesting stuff. So there you go. So it's all, uh, this movie is maybe not the movie that you had intended to sit down and watch, but I think that it's valuable. Um, and it's gonna, you're gonna be there with a little writing pad and you're going to be taking notes about music that you want to find out more about, about musicians that you want to find out more about. And I think that it's going to enrich your life. And that's the best we can ever hope to do, I think. Uh, so thanks to all of you who are supporting AFS and thanks to all of you who support great art and great culture. We appreciate it. Enjoy Up From The Streets.